Imagine a man arrested an astounding 400 times. You may not know Willie Wiesner, but the police sure do. New at 6 tonight, he's back behind bars accused of assaulting an officer. But as Nick Barris tells us, the bigger story here is the growing tab taxpayers must pay to lock him up over and over again. For Willie Wiesner, this is his home away from home. Just look at them all, enough mug shots to fill a high school yearbook, which is about the time the 52-year-old Wiesner began getting into trouble. He chooses to continue uh, engaging in behavior that is self-destructive and in this case endangering the public. Wiesner has been arrested hundreds of times dating back to 1979, mostly for misdemeanor public intoxication. When we talked to him a few years back, Wiesner admitted his priorities after each release. If you were to get out of jail, Right now, what would you do tonight? If I was to get out, I'd be honest with you, I was, I'd go get me a beer and a pack of cigarettes. Mr. Wiesner has been given every opportunity to be rehabilitated. But Sergeant Kyle Evans says each time he walks away from his rehab and recommits. Most recently this past week, but this time it's a felony when an officer tried to stop him from vandalizing a church mailbox. The officer told him to stop. This offended Mr. Wiesner, so he attacked the officer with the metal chain, striking his patrol car and again trying to strike the officer with a heavy metal object. This arrest now adds to the astounding overall cost of Wiesner's crimes. Consider roughly 400 arrests, that's close to $70 each time he's booked, and close to 5,000 days served in jail at about $50 per day. The tab easily tops a quarter of a million dollars. By now, the guards know him and greet him this way. You back again? <laughs> this most recent arrest is a felony. Wiesner will do time, but he'll get out. Still, it's a good bet he'll eventually return to the county jail. In Rutherford County, Nick Barris, News Channel 5. Wow, a typical sentence for Wiesner ranges from 30 days to 12 months, but this most recent felony arrest could bring him more time.